Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Yes, we are here. Um, Manifest the Glory International Ministries. And again, my name is Empress, and I'm just here to wish you all a happy, happy, happy um, Valentine's Day. And, you know, once again, just want to come on here and pray with you all. And that I hope you all have a blessed day. Amen. So, Lord, we just give you glory and honor and praise for this day. We thank you, Lord, that you are God and God alone. We thank you for your manifested glory that is working in our lives. We thank you, Lord, that you have been with us from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and again on Sunday, Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have taken us throughout this week as a blessed week, Heavenly Father, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are covering us. We thank you, Lord, that we are still here. We are still standing. We thank you, Lord, that um, we are healed from the crowns of our heads to the soles of our feet, inside and out. We thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord, that as we are continuing to stand on your word and we're continuing to believe in you, Heavenly Father, Lord, that we thank you that the remainder of this week, the remainder of this month, this year and beyond is blessed. We thank you, Lord, that we are blessed. We thank you, Lord, that we are covered. We thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord, for the amazing things that you have been doing for not only us, but for our family, Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that as we're continuing to give you glory and give you honor and give you praise, that we believe in you, Lord. We believe that the love that you gave us was unfailing. We thank you, Lord, that the love that you had bestowed upon us had never uh, left us or forsaken us. We thank you, Lord, that the love that you have given us, Lord, has and will never change. We thank you, Lord, that you have uh, loved us so much that you gave your only begotten son and so that we can have a life and that more abundantly, Lord. We just thank you. We just give you glory and praise for this day. And this day we give you praise. Hallelujah. So, Lord, we just thank you as we're continuing to um, love on everyone today we thank you lord that we love someone that has hurted us we thank you lord that we love someone that has loved us we thank you lord that every love that has ever um been shown to us every love that has been displayed to us will be displayed back because of you lord we thank you that you receive that love we thank you lord that you um receive it and also give it back heavenly father lord we thank you lord jesus that um for those who may not know love or may not feel your love or may not uh know what love is lord we just pray for those right now in jesus mighty name we thank you lord that you're visiting them right now heavenly father lord we thank you lord that you are with them even in the midst we bind every spirit of death informity heavenly father we bind every spirit of suicide we bind that spirit of loneliness heavenly father lord we bind that spirit right now in jesus mighty name for it should not flourish it should not um come to light we bind and we cast out every evil root that has been uh in our lives or has been instilled in us since the day we was born so it's, it has been still in us as we are in our childhood lord that has been rooted and has grown into a tree we cancel and we bind that evil tree right now in jesus mighty name for it shall be uprooted and we cast it into the fiery pits of hell where it belongs and it will not come to pass it will not flourish it will not um it will not overcome us, Heavenly Father, Lord. We just bind it right now in Jesus' mighty name. And we thank you, Lord, that they receive the love. They receive the peace. They receive your grace, Heavenly Father, Lord. For they know, may not know who loves them, may not know who cares about them, may not know why am I here. Lord, speak to them. Show them. Holy Spirit, guide them so that they know why they are here, so they know who loves them. And Lord, we just thank you. We just give you glory and honor and praise that the love that you display for us will also be displayed throughout this world, not just for today, but every day, every year, every century, and every generation, Heavenly Father, Lord. And we thank you. We give you all glory and honor and praise, Lord. I uplift confidence right now in Jesus' mighty name, Lord. I just... um. Pray for those who may feel insecure. Pray for those that may feel like no, they're not pretty enough or they're not handsome enough, Lord Jesus. We're just buying that um, non-confident spirit right now in Jesus' mighty name. For they are beautiful. They are handsome. Every time that they look in the mirror, they don't feel disgust. They don't feel pain. They don't feel misery, Lord Jesus. But they feel 
love. They feel a self-love, Heavenly Father, Lord. And I just thank you, and I just give you going on a praise. And, Lord, as I'm continuing to uh, pray, I thank you for our nation. I thank you, Lord, that we are uplifting our president. I thank you that we are uplifting our vice president. I thank you that we are uplifting our um, senate. Lord Jesus, and um, even um, our former vice president and the first lady, Lord, I thank you, Lord, that you are protecting them as every step of the way. I thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord, that you're continuing to bless them, that you're continuing to watch over them, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for our um, our capital, Heavenly Father, Lord, for our mayors, our governors, our aldermen, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that uh, you are uplifting them right now for every laws and bylaws that they're uh, doing for their city, for their state, or for their uh, small town, Lord Jesus. We just thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord, that our nation is blessed because under you we trust, Lord. Under God we trust. We trust you with our monies. We trust you with our homes. We trust you with our hearts, Lord. I thank you that our faith is continuing to build up every day. I thank you, Lord, that our faith will not even have a shred of doubt because we know that and we stand on your word and we know that anything that we ask or say or do that you will do it heavenly father lord every door that we knock on will be open every window that we raised up it will be uh open heavenly father lord everything that has been shut or has been rejected lord jesus let it let it be open heavenly father lord i pray for heaven gates to open right now in jesus mighty name i thank you for a supernatural blessing that is happening in someone's life today i pray lord for a supernatural blessing to happen even at this moment even today even tomorrow or before the year is out they will receive a supernatural healing and a supernatural blessing because of you and because of their faith heavenly father lord that they trust in you lord jesus also thank you for um, our ministries i thank you for our pastors our apostles i thank you for our first ladies heavenly father lord i thank you that you are lifting every leadership of every denomination of our churches right now in Jesus name. I thank you Lord that uh, they are not weary. They are not uh, being doubtful because stuff happened because of COVID or stuff happened because of certain members don't want to show up Lord. I'm buying that spirit of doubt right now in Jesus mighty name Lord. I'm buying that um un that unwilling spirit right now that's trying to crack and break them Lord. I pray for the faith to continue to push them, Lord. I pray that their faith is continuing to uh, lift you, Lord Jesus. I pray, Heavenly Father, Lord, that no weapon formed against the church will prosper. I pray, Lord, that... Um, I bind that dark cloud spirit right now in Jesus' my name for every church, for any church member that feel like that stuff is going wrong, every church member that feel like, oh, money is not there, or that they feel like it's not being handled correctly, Heavenly Father, Lord. Lord, we just bind that demon right now in Jesus' my name, and any um, undoubtful or whiffle person that's thinking that, oh, they stealing from me, Lord, we ask that you... Reveal it right now in Jesus' mighty name, Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord, for every church that, every pastor that may have lost their church, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that they're building their ministry even now, even going virtual, Lord, even on Facebook Live or, or Instagram or on YouTube, Heavenly Father, Lord, that they're still preaching the word, that they haven't stopped, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for those pastors that are willing to even go the extra step into doing virtual church, Lord. I thank you and that we are lifting the creativity. We thank you for the teams that surround them. We thank you for the uh, technology that will not uh, fail, Heavenly Father, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that even if we, they may have not have the money or the funds to get the things that they may need, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the supernatural blessing that is coming upon those churches, that's coming upon their ministry, that's coming upon their team and their team leaders, Heavenly Father, Lord. And I thank you and I give you glory and praise for the manifestation that is working even now, Lord. I thank you also, Heavenly Father, Lord, for the first ladies that they're um, starting to find their voice, they're starting to find their gifts, they're starting to even develop, Lord, even those that um, may have thought that they missed it, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are forgiving God with your grace and your mercy, that there are, uh, they're, they're um, bringing it up again, Heavenly Father, Lord, they're opening those books, they're writing down those uh, in their journals, they're doing things that they need to do, Heavenly Father, Lord, and I thank you and I give you glory and praise for them lord and i also lord i pray for even the armor bearers even those that uh, were made to serve or was blessed to serve heavenly father lord i thank you lord that uh they're doing creative things to bless their pastor to bless their 
uh, First Lady, Lord Jesus, or even to bless their leadership. Lord, we just thank you and I just give you glory and praise that you are. There's an overflow of creativity in the kingdom of God and that we will not stop, it will not cease, Heavenly Father, Lord. And we give you glory and praise for that. And Lord, I just also thank you even for the musicians, for the uh, psalmists, for the, uh, we call it, anointed, Heavenly Father, Lord. I also thank you, Lord, that even they're finding creative ways to get to get uh, the music out, to get the word out, to sing, Heavenly Father, Lord, to hit notes that they doubt they will never hit before, Lord. I thank you that there's a, a, a evolved elevation in their gifts. I thank you that our gifts are flowing like rivers of living water, that it did not die, it did not dry out, it is not a drought, Heavenly Father, Lord, but that it is a uh, building, Lord Jesus. I thank you that every creative gift in the house of the Lord is being elevated, it is being grown, it is being skyrocket heavenly father lord just like the eagles that soar heavenly father lord it will continue to grow it will continue to glide it will never stop it will never go down even even if something's trying to hold it down it will still go higher and higher so that it could fall off lord we just thank you and for the gifts of the house lord jesus we thank you even for our ministers and our members of our church lord even the families Lord, we just cover all our families right now, Heavenly Father, Lord, our mothers, our dads, Heavenly Father, Lord, our brothers, our sisters, our aunties, our uncles, our nieces, our nephews, Heavenly Father, Lord, cousins, uh, great-great-grandmothers, Heavenly Father, Lord, grandmoms and papas, Lord. I just thank you, and I plead the blood of Jesus over our families, over the members, Heavenly Father, Lord, from the crowns of the head to the soles of the feet, inside and out. I pray for their homes, that if their house is a peaceful home that when they walk in they don't feel that tension they don't feel tense so to walk into their home for your house is a peaceful stepping stone your house is a peaceful beacon your house is made of peace and love and we just thank you heavenly father lord for that love that's continuing to grow not only just in the house and the foundation but in the kitchen in their um rooms heavenly father lord even in the dining rooms where they all sit together and eat in the living rooms, in the basement, everywhere, Heavenly Father, even in the car or in the garage, Lord. We just thank you for the peace that is happening in the homes, Lord Jesus. And we also thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord, for keeping those that may have lost their wives or lost their uh, husbands or any family members, Heavenly Father, Lord. We just uplift those families right now in Jesus' mighty name for your love will comfort them for your love will uplift them for your love will never fail them lord jesus we just give you glory and praise for that lord and we know that they are being missed they are being loved they are being kept by you lord because we know that they are in your hands and you are protecting them the lord we just uplift those families right now for they're not being um uh grudgeful they're not being angry um all the time lord they're not uh feeling a certain, certain kind of way or anything like that lord anything that may have shifted from when someone has gone home going or gone back home to you lord we just thank you lord that uh, you are lifting those families you are strengthening those families you are strengthening them to be stronger together you are strengthening them to come together more you're strengthening them to even um pray together heavenly father lord we just give you glory and praise for those families in jesus mighty name and even those that had to make some exact important decisions in their lives to move from another state to move from their home state to move where it was um, familiar to somewhere uncomfortable lord well we just thank you for the newness that is happening with them right now in jesus mighty name and we thank you that because of their movement that they are going to receive a blessing because of their obedience and because they listen to you and they follow the instructions of the Holy Spirit, that they'll be able to uplift, and they'll be able to uh, feel at peace, Lord. And I just give you glory and honor, praise for that in Jesus' mighty name. Also lift up the men and the families, Lord, that may have to uh, step up, Lord. We just thank you that their uh, feet is strong. We thank you that their limbs are strong, Lord. We thank you that their backs are strong, Heavenly Father, Lord. And we just bind any spirit of doubt, bind any spirit of discouragement, find any spirit that may feel like that they can't do it like their dad they can't do it like their pops they can't do it like grandpa did lord we just thank you lord that you are finding a way for that they can do it how they can that they are finding their uniqueness in them and not in someone else and not in um 
someone who may have you know pushed them along the way or someone who wasn't there that wants to be there or someone who just cast them out and then wants to come back in and try to fill in lord we just thank you for the guidance for um the men in the household in jesus mighty name and also lift up the ladies um every mother every sister that their bonds is getting stronger together, that their love for one another is getting together, Lord. I thank you even for our sisters that were bickering are now best friends, Lord Jesus. I bind every spirit of uh, torment, any spirit of strife, any spirit of grudgeness, any spirit of jealousy in every family, in Jesus mighty name, not just within bro not just with sisters and sisters or brothers or brothers or brothers and sisters or moms and dads or anything like that lord jesus for there is only one love collectively no one is loved more than the other no one is more uh quote spoiled than the other lord we just thank you for the equal love going around in families right now in jesus mighty name lord and i also thank you even for those that are empty nesters lord that they might feel a little lonely a little left out or anything lord jesus i thank you lord that uh you are filling their hearts with joy you're filling their hearts with something to laugh about every day lord i thank you heavenly father lord that they are um they are finding even new ways to uh talk or even to sow or to write heavenly father lord i just thank you for that in jesus mighty name lord also thank you even those that have uh newborn children or toddlers lord i thank you that the uh the frustration is not overcoming them, that they're not missing out on like the little things like a smile or they're walking, Heavenly Father, Lord. Um, I just thank you for the mothers right now in Jesus' mighty name, Lord, that even when they feel like they don't have enough or something, Lord, that they, they will be supernaturally blessed by you, Lord Jesus from a person on the street or from a family member, Lord. I just thank and I just give you glory and praise for the mothers, Heavenly Father, Lord, even those that are doing the virtual learning for their children or those that are thinking about uh, sending their children back to, uh, to public schools, Heavenly Father, Lord. We just pray, Heavenly Father, Lord, for the wisdom for every uh, Chicago public schooling, for um, those people in those offices, Heavenly Father, Lord, even for the even for those that's around the world, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, that uh, for the wisdom to open schools or to not open schools, Lord, or to continue to do the virtual learning, Heavenly Father, Lord, Lord, I pray that you'll make a way out of no way for those families and for those teachers and those staffs and administrators, Heavenly Father, Lord, Lord, I just thank you. For the love of children that would want that want to continue and to continue to do um great and mighty things heavenly father lord i just thank you lord that you are with them in their homes as they're doing their virtual learning that you are with them um trying to get things right or they might be frustrated lord they might be um exhausted heavenly father lord but i just pray for the supernatural strength to come upon them so that they can pull it up and push forward heavenly father lord and i just give you glory and honor praise in jesus mighty name lord i also thank you for uh the media teams that are within the ministries heavenly father lord the ushers the greeters and also thank you for even the ministries that helps the evangelists heavenly father even the new evangelists that um are um coming forth right now in jesus mighty name lord that they'll be able to um uh, speak the gospel they'll be able to preach it to someone they'll be able to pray they'll be able to do mighty and great things heavenly father lord because of you because of the holy spirit and they follow through heavenly father and also thank you jesus as you die on the cross for our sins and I thank you that your unfailing love from your dad, from God, from Daddy God, <laughs> that he loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son. And for that, we thank you, Lord, that we believe with our hearts and we confess with our mouths that we believe that you died on the cross for our sins and that you got raised up from the dead. And we just thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Just repeat after me. If you have not received Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, I do encourage you um, to get to know him, to even pray the prayer. We say, Lord Jesus, thank you for what you did. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for 
everything that you did. Thank you for taking away my sickness. Thank you for taking away my heartbreaks. Thank you for taking away every burden. And for that, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and that you raised from the grave. And I believe with my heart and I confess it with my mouth. In Jesus' name, amen. And that's all. And that's if this is your first time, the first time ever saying that, you know, just say it in the chat. And if you are looking for a a church home, or if you'd like to become a member of Manifest Glory International Ministries, just hit us in our inbox. And also, and at 1045, we will be uh, here again on Facebook Live. So just make sure you come back and that um, God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. So stay here or, you know, get you a cup of coffee and come back. Or we will have our service at 1045. Amen. So we just uh, thank you, God, that we just fill these prayers with the blood of Jesus from from the beginning to the end, Lord. And I just thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord, that you're continuing to um, even stir up new gifts um, for our virtual church. I thank you, Lord, there'll be no complications. There'll be no um, service no service a timeout anything like that lord uh no wi-fi disturbance or anything heavenly father lord i just thank you for a smooth sailing throughout uh even through every virtual church and even through ours i pray for the word on today i pray that uh everyone that watches it even on time or later lord jesus they will be blessed and i thank you heavenly father lord that uh, we will continue to uh do your work and that it will go forth in Jesus name I pray. Amen. So um, also don't forget to like us on Facebook and like us on follow us on Instagram and also you can subscribe to our YouTube as well. Amen. So please don't forget to stay come back at 10:45 for our service, all right? So have a good one.